Welcome back to Landing Zone Home. Today's video is the first video in a series for new Airstream owners. But hold on a minute. If you don't own an Airstream, this video will still apply about 90% of the time to your travel trailer, fifth wheel, or even your motor home. This series of videos will cover safety, security, storing your Airstream, holding tanks, what to lubricate on your unit, and possibly more videos to follow after that. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and ring the little bell so you'll get notifications of the future videos. So let's get started with safety first. When you received your unit, the hitch coupler probably looked pretty much like this right here. This is on my 2020 Flying Cloud. This is a Demco hitch coupler and uh, there are some that are quite different. But the thing to check is that as you release this lever here, that unlocks the ball from your hitch and the trailer can come off. Something that they probably did not give you when you purchased your unit is called a hitch locking pin. And that goes right through here like this and it locks, thus preventing the latch from coming up. This uh, will run you three to four dollars at your RV parts store. You can order them online. I'll put a link in the description below on where you can find these at Amazon. While we're here at the hitch coupler, I'd like to show you two more things that are safety related. One is your emergency breakaway cable. And what this does is you hook this to your tow vehicle and should your trailer become unhooked, it will pull this pin and activate the brakes on your trailer. Very important to have that hooked up and engaged. You've heard about the chains and why do we cross the chains like this? You cross the chains so that should the trailer come off of the ball, the hitch coupler will rest on top of the chains and not drag the ground. Chalking the wheels so they will not turn is very important. This should be done before you release the trailer from your tow vehicle. Put one on the rear and one on the front to keep the wheel from rolling in either direction. And again, look in the comments and I will put a link in there to where you can see some wheel chalks. Monitoring your tires while underway is very important. If you have a blowout, you will probably feel some sway in the trailer and hopefully nothing worse than that. If you have a tire that is, has a slow leak, you will not know that until you visually inspect the tires at some later point. You'll also need to know the temperature. And the temperature is important because you may have a wheel bearing that is bad and as that wheel bearing goes out, it'll create friction and that will transfer heat to the tire and you can see that show up on this monitor. The tire monitoring device will provide the tire pressure, the temperature, it'll show you which tire that it's monitoring. It will also have a low battery feature and this will sit in your tow vehicle and you can monitor this as you're going down the road. If you should have a loss of air, you'll get a audible alarm and a visual look at which tire is losing the air. Each tire on the trailer will have its own tire monitor. It's a device that just slips right onto your valve stem. It's battery operated. The batteries will last uh, between one and two years. And it will send a signal up to your monitoring unit providing temperature of the tire and air pressure. When you fold out your steps, it's very important to make sure the steps are engaged fully. If not, one side could be loose and it will cause just enough shift in the steps to where someone could fall. The best way I've found for dealing with the steps is to pull it from this direction here and then you can fully flip your step around. Disengage this and your steps will go up. Now to bring them back down, just pull the lever and that looks like it's in there, but it really is not. 
you've got to pull it to make sure it's in place and ensure that they're fully locked here and here. And the final thing I want to talk about briefly is the rear view camera. Airstream comes standard nowadays with this backup camera that's mounted there. And you can use it a couple of different ways. It's intended to help you back into a campsite. And although that may be true, I uh, do not really trust the camera. It doesn't always show the low hanging limbs and things of that nature. So I'll still get out and do a walk around of the trailer and do a good visual before I start backing in and not merely rely on this camera. What I primarily use the backup camera for is driving in traffic. I leave it on when I'm in traffic and this helps me to not only see what vehicles are directly behind me that I may not be able to see in my mirrors, but it also gives me a better understanding for distance when I'm changing lanes. It just adds one more layer of security to make sure that you've clearly passed the vehicle and your lane and you're moving over. If you've got some other uses for the backup camera, please leave some comments down below and we'll share that with everyone else. Well, that wraps it up for this video here. And please understand, I've only touched the surface on what safety is all about when you are pulling a trailer or driving a motorhome. There'll be a future video about tires because that is really a uh, safety item that deserves much more time and we'll dedicate an entire video to that. So again, if you haven't uh, already subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button and ring the little bell so you'll get notifications of upcoming videos. And until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>